Officers and men of the Nigerian army waiting at the venue of the special court martial to try two senior officers of the Nigerian army. <laughs> All set. The president of the court martial, Air Vice Marshal James Boom, convened the court and then got the consent of the accused persons on the composition of the panel. Do you have any objections for me as uh, the president of this special commission? No Next was the administration of oath of office to the president and the three other members of the panel. And then it was the turn of the judge advocate of the court martial. As he was about to be sworn in, the prosecutor pointed it out to the court martial that the accused persons ought to be given the opportunity to decide if they wanted him as their judge advocate. But the lawyers to the two military officers opposed his request. In a short ruling, the George Advocate Colonel Said Musa ruled the prosecutor out of order. We are complying with the rules of procedure, which provides that you cannot protect the majority of the case. And then he was sworn in. That. With all the formalities out of the way, another round of argument ensued between the counsel to General Sani and the prosecutor. Counsel to General Sani asked the court to order that the charges against his clients be made available in line with the law so that he can adequately prepare for his case. But in his reply, the prosecutor pointed out to the court-martial that there are procedures provided by the law to make such documents available to an accused person. However, the trial against General Patrick Falola will commence on the 9th of May, 2016. Amaka Okafo, Channel Television News.